I modeled a very basic, um, low poly, awesome model of a gun here, GAT. And basically, I just want to use this bullet as the preflab. And <laughs> definitely want to make some clones of that preflab. And the preflab must shoot the same direction the gun is facing and uh, operate as you would expect a bullet in a video game, at least a game of this uh, insane magnitude would operate. So uh, exported as a FBX, brought into Unity. It's just two models, the gun and the bullet, and um, let's go. The first thing we want to do is create a C-sharp script Call it something like shoot bullet, shoot my bullet, or something descriptive, and that you'll remember. So the first thing we want to do is we'll create a public game object. Call it my bullet, or something uh, descriptive that you'll remember and know what it is. And then we'll create a public float, and we'll call it my bullet speed. And for now, we'll say it's equal to 100. And since it's a float, be sure to use uh, F at the end of it, because if you put on a decimal later on in your code and you don't put the F in, uh, your code won't compile and you'll get an error. So remember that a float is just a, um, a number with a decimal and an int or an integer is a whole number. So I'm just gonna delete the start function right now as I'm not using it. You can always add it later, of course, if you want, but um, just to keep things simple, and easy to read for the tutorial, I'm gonna delete it. So in our update function, we're going to use if input get key down space. If we push the space bar, we're gonna use print and or debug.log to see that uh, we actually push the space bar. That's all we're doing right now. So we'll head back over to Uni really quick, do a quick test to see if our Print is showing up in the console, and it is, so we're all good to continue on with our code. This is the actual line of code that creates the My Bullet Prefab clone, and we do that by creating a new game object by typing game object, calling it My Bullet Prefab, and it's equal to instantiate as a game object, which is just casting right there. And what are we instantiating? Well, we are instantiating my bullet, which we declared up top, which is also a game object. And where do we want to instantiate the bullet? We're going to use transform.position and kumquat.identity right now. Kumquat. We need to actually send the bullet flying, so we're going to use a rigid body, and we're going to call it my bullet prefab rigid body. And then we need to get the component rigid body of my bullet prefab clone. To actually get the bullet to fly forward, we need to use the add force function, which takes two arguments. We're going to use vector3.forward, and we're going to multiply it by our bullet strength, which was the float that we declared up top, which, if you remember, we called my bullet speed. Please don't be a baboon like me. And remember to add the rigid body to your game object beforehand. <laughs> I'm gonna do the good thing and add the rigid body to my BFB, which is my bullet, and fix the nasty. You can see now that when we run the game that the bullet is indeed instantiating but it's not doing everything you want to do, so that tells me that I made a few mistakes, and we need to go back and fix it. So basically here, I'm getting an error that says my mesh collider is non-convex, so it's not going to work as planned, so I need to go back and make it a convex mesh collider. So you can see we got a problem here. Um, the bullets are instantiating, and we have clones of them, but they're not flying forward like a normal bullet should. So let's go back and look at the code and see what happened. So as you can see, I was actually getting the rigid body component of my bullet, not my bullet prefab, 
which is what I should have done in the first place. So let's just change that to my bullet prefab. And also that's not a good name for the clone. So I will call it something like my bullet prefab clone, which I think is a much better name. When we head back over to Unity to do a quick test, we can see that we're actually getting some forward movement from the bullet now, although it's not a lot. So, well, what can we do to fix that? There's a couple things we can do. Let's find out. Let's add the force mode dot impulse to the add force argument to give our bullets a little bit more kick. Force mode dot impulse would be like uh, good for an explosion or if you flick something or something instant. It happens right away. Like if you fire a gun, the bullet, boom, it happens instantly. You can see that when we test our game now and push the space bar to fire, the bullet does indeed fire fast and forward the way we want it to. So you can see that when we spin the gun around, there's a couple things happening. One is the bullets are still shooting and facing the same direction, not the direction as the gun. So we definitely need to fix that. And then later we need to fix where we're gonna have the bullet actually spawn from in the gun, which would be a good spot, I think, just for this instance, would be um, towards the end of the barrel. So we'll fix that too. <laughs> so here, I just created a new empty game object, and I'm placing it where I want the bullets to spawn from, which is just at the end of the barrel of our gun here. So how do we get the bullets to actually spawn from the empty game object that we just created? Well, we need to create another public variable. This will be of data type transform and I'll call it my bullet spawn point. So flip back over to Unity, head over to your script and click and drag my bullet spawn point into your script. How do we write that in code? Well, it's really easy. Just get my bullet spawn point, copy and paste it over, type it in, and dot transform dot position. Heading back over to Unity, we're gonna do some play testing, and we can see that when we turn our gun that the bullets indeed do spawn where we want them to spawn. However, we have one more problem, and the bullets are Frickin' flying the wrong way. Quick tip, try not to have too much fun playing your own game when you're developing it. But for now, we need to talk about the kumquat problem. So to fix this problem, all we need to do is change my bullet spawn point dot identity, which is wrong to my bullet spawn point dot rotation. And you, as you can see here, when we play the game, Finally, the bullet shoots the way we want it to shoot, flies the way we want it to fly, rotates with the gun, everything works as we wanted it to. So the last problem we can see here is all of these clones. When we shoot the gun, the bullets spawn the bullet prefab clones and they go flying forever and ever and ever and ever. So to fix that is very easy. We just use Unity's destroy function. And if you take a look at the destroy function, you can see that it takes two arguments or up to two arguments. It takes an object and a float. So in this case, the object that we want to destroy is my bullet prefab clone. And we want to destroy it in three seconds. Jumping back over to Unity, we're doing a quick test, shooting the gun, and we can see that all the prefab bullet clones are shot and disappear or destroyed in three seconds. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something from this video, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notifications bell to stay up to date for all the latest tutorials, and we'll catch you next video. See ya.